Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the Super Squad channel where today we are taking a look at two brand new die casts that I got. We have Noah Gregson's uh, Daytona uh, 300 win um, from Wave 8 of NASCAR Authentics, the one that just came out. Um, that was the only one from there I could find that I actually needed because they also had like Matt Crafton's there, but I already have a Matt Crafton uh, die cast. And then they had Denny Hamlin's throwback, and eh, I didn't really want it too much, so I just got the Noah Gregson. And then I also have Jimmy Johnson's um, Ally Fueling Futures paint scheme right here, and let's go ahead and open them up. Alright, so here we go. First things first, uh, I just wanted to say I forgot this is also Jimmy Johnson's uh, Jimmy Johnson foundation car, even though Ally is literally all over it like they could have at least made like the pinks and purples blue just so you know you can tell it's a jimmy johnson foundation car but whatever um let's take a look at the noah gregson car first however this is a race one by the way so let's take a look at the card first nascar racing experience 300 champion daytona beach florida february 15th 2020 uh, we got nine Noah Gregson Junior Motorsports race version. Then we got uh, Noah Gregson right here holding up his uh, trophy. And now let's turn it around. And then you got all the info about the race, the date, the time of the race, the start position, total laps, number of cautions, laps led by the winner, 15, and margin of victory was a caution. And with that being said, let's go ahead and move this aside and take a look at the actual diecast already. As you can tell, I already... Uh, Fix this part right here. A uh, little window net. I always paint it in black, um, so it kind of looks better. You know, so it looks more like the actual um, die casts. And yeah, so this is probably a uh, one of my favorite paint scheme of his. Um, probably the only other one that I like better is the Lionel Racing one, which they also released in NASCAR Authentics. But yeah. It's a pretty solid paint scheme, the Bass Pro Shops car with uh, black rifle coffee. Looks pretty good. The only real parts that you can tell that this is a race version is the roof right here. You have that little thing where they can open up the roof and like climb out the car. And then you also have uh, this little part in the front. You got some grill tape and I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but like there's this little like box like around the Camaro logo. It's barely visible on camera. But you can tell more in person. It's like a much darker orange. Like it looks more brown than anything. But yeah. And then over here on this side, you can only tell because of that little, I don't know what it is, scuff mark right there. And then, I uh, thought I saw something else on it. Oh, yeah, right here behind the uh, wheel. Got some little black scratch marks there, probably from his burnout. And yeah, that's really the only parts you can tell that it's a race version of and that the car is pretty clean, I'd say. But yeah, that's nice. Uh, pretty solid looking paint scheme. Let's go ahead and compare it with my other Noah Gregson die casts. And uh, Noah Gregson is probably uh, the Xfinity driver. I have the most die casts of uh, with four now. And yeah, I think the most I have is most like after this is two with Cole Custer. I have his Haas and then his Jacob Company's car. And the only reason I got the Jacob Company's car was because, uh, well, the Haas one was outdated. Um, and it was a uh, older Mustang, so that's the only reason why I got the Jacob Company's one. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, Noah Gregson has always had some pretty nice paint schemes. Even this one's nice. It's nice and simple. This one's well, this one's basically a Chase Elliott paint scheme. And then you got this one, which is really good. And this one's another nice, simple one. And by Chase Elliott paint scheme, I'll show you really quick. Three, two, one. All right, so if you take a look at this, I already made a meme about this, but just for you guys who've never noticed before, look at this. The lines are exactly the same. You got those lines up there, those lines up there. And you go down here, you have those right there, those right there. So, I mean, yeah, it's basically a Chase Elliott paint scheme. They're both nine cars. Um, 
So like you could tell, like you could tell straight away that it was basically a Chase Elliott paint scheme. Uh, but yeah, just a little something I thought I'd point out, just in case uh, some of you guys never noticed that. But uh, yeah, now let's go ahead and take these out, and now we can take a look at Jimmy Johnson's uh, Jimmy Johnson Foundation car. Um, anyways, um, this is a. Um, I mean, I guess it's technically a raced version because they included the uh, little heritage trophy things that they did on uh, the cars during that race or whatever. So, I mean, I guess you could say it's technically raced-ish or like right before it like went to the race, you know, because I don't think this was in the render. I'm pretty sure it was not in the render. But anyways, yeah, so, I mean, the only real, real part that Jimmy Johnson Foundation is literally right on the quarter panel. But at least they did change this. They added a Ally Fueling Futures. That's nice. And, yeah, so, overall, uh, it's a solid paint scheme. It's uh, way better than his 2018 Ally car. Or, no, 2019 Ally car. My bad. Um... Yeah, um, finally, I have a 2020 Jimmy Johnson diecast, but now it's already too late. Alex Bowman's been doing the 48. But anyways, let's just go ahead and do a quick comparison with his 2019 Ally car. And yeah, I mean, this one definitely has a lot more uh, color, you can tell. The only thing I think I prefer about the 2019 one was like this part. Well, actually, never mind. They took that out on this paint scheme specifically because they wanted to add the Jimmy Johnson Foundation part. So actually, yeah, uh, they pretty much, yeah, they kept that. It's just for this car that they took it out for some reason, which is strange. But yeah, so overall pretty solid. Um, I like it. And yeah, let's go ahead and, oh, well, actually, one more thing that I prefer about this car is that they have like the yellow splitter down there. This one. It'd be nice if they put a little yellow underline there. That'd be pretty nice. But yeah, so let's go ahead and take this out. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. Just wanted to do a quick little video showing you guys the two new diecast uh, for my collection. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I can finally do a stop motion now, now that I have an updated 2020 Jimmy. That's what I was waiting for now. Uh, so whenever I have the time, I will be able to start the stop motion i can do the paint scheme preview um already though i can do that i know for sure i can do that already i just need and qualifying but when it comes to like filming the race itself i'll need to find some time but anyways yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see y'all in the future uh take it easy and bye bye